Richard Ernst, Nobel Laureate, and I request Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor S. C. Sharma to hand over the bouquet and welcome on behalf of the Welcome to the
thank you. The short lecture it can last less than eight hours. <laughs> you know, of course, this university here very well. And I'm visiting it yesterday for the first time, today for the second time. But I know it's a great university. It also has a very great uh, Vice Chancellor, Professor Charma, and without him, the university cannot fail. Anyway, I will not speak about Tumpur because I don't know anything to say. So I will speak about my own pathway into science and beyond, and I will speak about the ups and downs in the life of a Western scientist. Just to give you an example, what could happen in life, what also could happen to you in your life. Some fortunate events, some less fortunate events, which you pass. Hopefully, you can avoid. But anyway, I will just be honest and telling you everything I know about myself. You see, I like uh, teaching. Teaching is a great thing to do. Give these young people something for their life. I think that's the best you ever can do. And I, I'm teaching this little girl in Switzerland chemistry that to other hands understand the, the coloring of the flames here. It's not my particular field, of course, because of it is mine, but mine is more no government. So I try to excite her. And I, I try to excite this other lady also here by Magnetic Resonance. You see here a nuclear spin in the air, recessing. And she is fascinated, I'm fascinated about her. And that's a good situation. That's what I like. And that's why I'm here you know, to, to give you something which I know and hopefully it helps you in your own future. So that's me. That's how I learned my chemistry. Learning by doing. That's the only way you can learn. Lecture rooms are useless. Close all your lecture rooms and send the students into the laboratory and do something like me. And some of them will survive, and the other ones will yeah, disappear. Anyway, in order to tell you my story, we have to travel from here back to Switzerland. And we come here to a small country called Switzerland. And there is a city here in the north of Switzerland which is called Winterthur. Winterthur must be very cold. Much colder than Bangalore. The there is a lot of snow, as you see here. This is Winterthur. Snow is covered, at least in winter. And in summertime, it's a very pleasant city. That's Winterthur. In summertime, this is the high school where I went to school, where I suffered a lot. And um, here behind these trees is the house I was born. That's my school, and that was our house in which I was born. And this is the house, the little house. And I, I have a, a very good view. Uh, my parents were very proud when the first child they had was already a son. That's what they wanted. Too bad, I mean, I, I don't think that this kind of an opinion is a positive one and should uh, let like the, the girls equally well as the boys, but they were happy to have at first the boy. But I can't tell you what happened then. So this is this little boy which they got, that's my mother. That's my father. That's when I was one year old. And they didn't worry yet too much at that moment. I mean, I didn't speak at all. I didn't speak any language which anybody could understand. 